Hi everyone, today we're going to start the first topic in Math 110B, which is L'Hopital's Rule. L'Hopital's Rule was named after the French mathematician L'Hopital. So today, let's travel to France to learn about this rule. L'Hopital's Rule is in section 4.4 .4 of our textbook. Okay. So first, uh, we're going to talk about indeterminate form. Okay. So in determinate form of tide zero over zero first, take a look at this limit over here. Now, both the numerator and the denominator uh, go to zero as x go to zero. So this is a limit of this tide zero over zero. Uh, how can I evaluate this limit? Well, we can divide out this x over here and that would give me two. So the limit of that is equal to two. Now take a look at this second limit over here, okay? This one over here, again, is this tied zero over zero. As x go to zero, uh, the numerator and denominator both go to zero, okay? So this is, again, of tied zero over zero. Now if we simplify this function right here, um, we divide by x up and down, uh, that will give us one over x. So the limit here does not exist. Now, as you can see that uh, if x approaching zero from the positive side, then one over x goes to positive infinity. If x goes to zero from the negative side, one over x goes to negative infinity. And the limit over here does not exist, okay? Now, so this is called an indeterminate form of this tied zero over zero. It's called indeterminate because um, it's not determined yet. Um, we don't know the result is going to be, uh, does not exist or is it equal to a certain number. So it's indeterminate. So if you went into this type of limit, you don't jump into a conclusion, what will be the limit, okay? Another type of indeterminate form uh, is this infinity over infinity time. So these are two examples. Take a look at this first example here. As x go to infinity, the numerator and denominator both go to infinity. So this is uh, infinity over infinity time. Um, but if we simplify this, if we simplify this function that we're taking limit with, then the x here is going to divide out. Um, so that is equal to the limit of three, and the limit of a constant is going to be that constant itself. So the limit here exists and is equal to this finite number of three. Notice that if I change this three into four, then the limit here will be four. So this type over here, the limit could be equal to any number, okay? Now, what about this one here? This, again, it is of this type infinity over infinity. The numerator and denominator both go to infinity. Now, if we simplify that, um, divide by x up and down, then we're gonna get the limit here is um, infinity, okay? Now, what happened over here is you can see that this type, uh, infinity over infinity, now what you see over here is both this limit and this limit are of this infinity over infinity type. However, the limit here could exist as a finite number or the limit does not exist. Well, remember infinity is actually not a finite number. So this is a special case of does not exist, okay? So if you want to be precise, you can answer this. Uh, the answer is um, the limit does not exist and the infinite limit is infinity, okay? Okay, now you, as you can see here, uh, when we, both this limit and this limit here are of this type infinity over infinity, however, uh, this limit here exists as a finite number. Uh, the other one here, the limit does not exist. So that gives you um, an idea. So. If you have this type of uh, limit of infinity over infinity type, then the limit here is not determined yet, okay? Uh, it could happen to be a final number or, or it could happen that the limit does not exist, okay? So both this type and this type of limit, oh, the limit may or may not exist. So those are called indeterminate form. So we went over two indeterminate forms. Uh, one is zero over zero type, 
the other one is infinity over infinity time. Now, for indeterminate form of this type, uh, 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, uh, we have this called L'Hopital's rule. Okay. Now, what does the L'Hopital's rule say? It says that suppose f and g are two functions, they are differentiable, and what does differentiable mean? That means the derivative exists. Okay. And also, g pi of x uh, does not equal to 0 on an open interval, i, that contains a. So on this open interval i that contains this a here, okay, um, then when you take the limit of this quotient f of x over g of x as x approaching to a, as x approaching to this number a, uh, if this limit here is of this type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, then we can apply this L'Hopital's rule. And this limit of this quotient is equal to the limit of um, this quotient here, uh, with the numerator here being f prime and denominator here with being g prime. In other words, um, this quotient here, the numerator is the duality of this numerator, and the denominator is the duality of this denominator over here, providing that this limit is of this two type. Uh, notice that when you talk about this uh, indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, that includes the case that the numerator could be infinity or negative infinity, or the, the denominator can, could be infinity or negative infinity. Okay. Now, to help you to remember this uh, L'Hopital's rule, I have created this cartoon to help you to remember. Okay. Now, after the cartoon, there's some remark that I would like to make uh, about the L'Hopital's rule. Okay, uh, this rule work providing the given condition are satisfied. So you want to check if we satisfy this condition. Okay, and it's especially important to check if it's um, this two type. Okay, if it's, the limit here is not of this two indeterminate form, then we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay. So only when you have this two emergency type, then you go to the hospital, okay? Do not rush to the hospital when it's not necessary. Number two, L'Hopital's rule is also valid uh, for one-sided limit and for limit at infinity or negative infinity. So that will also apply, uh, providing that the limit is of this two emergency type right here. Number three, the proof of the uh, L'Hopital's rule um, is in appendix F, and if you're interested in it, you can go over that proof. Okay, okay. now let's use L'Hopital's rule to find the following limit here. Uh, first, uh, this limit here. Take a look at the numerator. Ln of one is equal to zero, so the numerator goes to zero, and the denominator also go to zero. So this is the type infinity over infinity. So we have an emergency, right? Okay. So you see that this is of this type infinity over infinity. So we have an emergency. So we have to go to the hospital right away. Okay. So we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule right here. Okay. So to apply L'Hopital's rule, okay, so we put the H here uh, indicating we apply L'Hopital's rule. So we're going to differentiate the numerator and denominator. Okay. So we'll differentiate the corresponding function in the numerator and denominator. Uh, notice that both are differentiable. Okay. And the derivative of this function is not going to equal to uh, when x equals 1. Okay. So when we differentiate ln of x, uh, if we got 1 over x. Uh, when we differentiate that, we get 1. When x approaching to 1, this is 1. So the final answer here is this 1. Uh, be very careful here. L'Hopital's rule is different from the quotient rule. This is not the quotient rule. Uh, quotient rule, when you differentiate the quotient, 
but not be passed through, you're taking the limit of a quotient, okay? And if this limit of this quotient is of this type, then you apply not be passed through. So be careful to distinguish between not be passed through and the quotient rule. Do not confuse them. 